Hi guys, welcome back to One on One with Frank Pinson. We have the man, the myth, and the legend, Coach Lamar, aka Red Cofield. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. Nice to be here. I appreciate it. Oh man, thank you for coming on. So let's um, jump right into this thing. How'd you get the name Red? Well, my uh, my grandmother gave it to me when I was born. She gives uh, all our grandchildren nicknames. So uh -huh. they said I was real bright and red when I was born. So it's been with me since day one. <laughs> red, so red stuck with you day from your one. grandma. Okay, good stuff. So, uh, but you're actually named after your dad, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and your dad was in this famous group that we all know, stinking group. Uh, what's the name of them? Five Heartbeats. The Five Heartbeats. Okay, shout out to Catfish, Ivy Lee. Um, who else is there? Michael Mike Whitener. Michael Whitener and your dad, Horace. So um, let's talk about a little bit about your mom. The Queen Bee has a big heart. Raise me, raise yeah. everyone in the neighborhood. What's she mean to you? Uh, she's everything to me. You know, uh, I love her to death. Uh, I do anything I can for her. You know, no matter what it is or how much it costs or whatever it takes. If I can do it, I can get it done. It will be done for her. She's uh, she's always been a person to give, Not, never take, but I always know. give to everybody in the community and how she can help anyone. She was always willing and able to. Yeah, that's it right there. So talking about um, you playing sports as a kid, you know, I did a little research, you know, um, here on the show. On this picture here, can you tell us about little baby Red oh, and growing man. up in the county playing oh, ball? Man. How was that? <laughs> we, had, we had some great times, man. We had some great times in the county. Uh, I made many good friends and met good people and good coaches. Um, I, was, I was truly blessed to have parents. and. Uh, coaches around me that loved me and cared about me mm -hmm. and steered me in the right direction. Yes, that's right. So um, after you played um, as a kid, you were able to play on some classic, like some epic teams no, in high no, school no, up no. at Northwest. You no. want to give any shout outs to anybody on those teams? Um, um, I know we had Tommy Thompson. Tommy Thompson, Tommy you know, Thompson he, he uh, won the championship, Division II championship down at uh, Kennesaw State with Coach Engel. Mm -hmm. Now he's at Dalton State. And uh, uh, one another player, Ryan Dyer, he's a head coach down at North Paulden. So those are a couple of players that I play with that now are doing great things in yeah. the community. Okay, so um, like I said, we're proud of you too. So um, after high school, a lot of people don't get to play in college ball. Yeah. Can you talk yeah. about the transition of playing college ball from high school and some of the places that you played? Right. Well, I was truly blessed to get an opportunity to play with a good coach in high school mm -hmm. uh, named Jay Williams, which has recently got the head coach at Udawa now. Oh, really? So he's taking over that program. But uh, the transition from high school to college is it's a big transition. It's, it's much bigger players. The game is more faster. You have a shot clock in college, and um, I was able to play, uh, get a full ride to Gulf Coast Community College in uh, Panama City, Florida, and I played a year down there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, going into my second year, I failed a drug a test, and uh, I lost my scholarship. Really? But you know, I was blessed enough and fortunate enough to get another opportunity to transfer the year after you know, at Voorhees College and I played three years down there and graduated with my bachelor's. Graduate, And I was actually able, um, when I was in high school, I went to go travel down to Gulf Coast down in Panama to see that and um, the beach stuff was right. there. Beautiful. So some of the kids being out there on their own, you have any words for them about like not having your mama there saying, hey, you better go come back home. You got school in the morning, right. you're on your own. You have to be. Right, you, well, it starts at the home first. You gotta have you know good parents, whether it's one or two parents, mm -hmm. you know be respectful and have some discipline because once you go to college and you know as I do, there's no one to, to tell you to get up and go to yeah. class anymore. You don't have yeah. to go to practice. You uh -huh. know? You're know, you on your own, you gotta have discipline. You gotta have some leadership. You gotta be able to lead and, and not follow people because you can follow the wrong people follow the wrong and get into a mess of a world of trouble. Man, so after graduation, people, after graduation, you actually still have a love for the game, but now you're actually teaching and coaching. Can you tell us where it is that you're um, teaching and, um, yes, and tell us about that? Well, I'm teaching at uh, Northwest Whitfield High School. Uh, I'm in the special ed department. Some of the most beautiful and intelligent kids I've met in my life mm -hmm. are in special ed. I know many people may, may or may not believe that, but those are some very special and intellectual kids and very intelligent. And I've just grown to love it. And, and coaching, ever since I was a little man, I, I always loved coaching and trying to help others. And, now that I get to teach the game, it's, it's a wonderful blessing. Yes, and, and while we're on that topic, um, hats off to the community and the school staff there at Northwest um, High School. I know you guys just had a loss. Yeah, um, very sad. Um, Mrs. Um, Dawn Alexander, mm -hmm. we, wish, we wish the family and everyone, a, yes. we're praying for you guys. And um, I know the family there is pretty um, close-knit yeah, there. Yeah, there. Okay. it is. Okay, so um, talking about coaching and um, teaching, can you talk about, for the future coaches out there, can you talk about a long day? I know it's just not 
getting up to practice. Right. You know, can you tell right. tell them about how that works? Well, it, it can be stressful at times being a coach. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie. And it's, it's long days. It's mm -hmm. hard work. It's, you're dealing with, you know, different kids and different attitudes and different backgrounds. And you got family members. Family <laughs> members and parents. But you got to be able to, you know, step aside and, and breathe, take in a breath and relax and just know you. It's a bigger picture, you know. You're doing this for these young men and the young women that you're trying to help build something down the road and let them be successful in the community or yeah. whatever adventures or wherever they want to go to in life. And I mean, I, I'm talking about I absolutely love the days alone. Yeah. But it, it, it's truly a blessing. So talking about out there in that football field, congratulations on another successful year That's you guys are having. Um, what Thank can you. we look for for the playoffs um, coming up here in the next two weeks or so? What do you guys have? Well, right now we're, uh, we finished up 7-3. Friday was our last regular season game. We got the w week 10 off. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're waiting to see what shakes out of this three, uh, this little tiebreaker tie we got going on, three-way tie, which we'll find out Friday after the last game. But uh, Extra week to prepare that. That's right, but we're okay. blessed. We're okay. Blessed. <laughs> so um, getting into the real sport, guys, you know, that's basketball, isn't that right? <laughs> uh, can you talk argue. about how you guys will look on the court and um, what, what should we expect this year? Uh, the Bruins should look real good this year. Uh, we're expecting big things out of our upperclassmen. And, uh, we got some underclassmen that, that may they may step up and make some noise this year. You know, yet to be seen, but mm -hmm. hopefully we can. We're led by a good class of seniors and juniors, so we may not need you know many of the underclassmen step up this year. But okay. If we need them to, it should, they should be able to you know, transition step up. right in there. That's right. So we'll actually have you back on here in January, and That's we'll right. talk about, we'll get a recap on that basketball. But um, while we're on basketball, you still don't get a, um, any time no. off in the summer. Can you talk no. about what you're involved with well, and, and what's that? Right after basketball season, uh, me and a cousin of mine, Xavier Nelson, we started a uh, traveling team and a little training uh, facility that we're trying to get started up. But we just called uh, the Timberwolves, North Georgia Timberwolves, mm -hmm. and we, uh, our grade ages is middle school and high school, and uh, we travel around to Chattanooga, Tennessee, Tennessee area, Knoxville, Atlanta, uh, South, Georgia, South Georgia, and play yeah. different tournaments and just try to get some of these kids exposed to a different game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and shout out to Coach, Net Coach X out there too. Coach you know, X. he's doing a lot of things in the community as well. Um, so are there, how can we contact you guys for, for the kids who want to try out for that team? How do they do that? Well, most of us, uh, you know, they know me from school and the community, and they have our numbers. And you can get uh, find me on Instagram at uh, underscore Lamar underscore two. And uh, you can find me on Facebook, Lamar Cofield. And uh, besides that, you know, like I said, I'm at, um, I'm at Northwest most of the time in the gym or on the field. Okay, that's it. So before we get you out of here quickly, you have any words of motivation to our future coaches who are coming up and who want to stay in this area and coach? you have any words for them? Uh, this is a great community to work. Uh, Whitfield County Schools is a great uh, school system to work for. Uh, the kids are great. Uh, the teachers are great. Uh, it'll be a blessing for some of these young men and women to leave and go get their degrees and come back and teach the future generations what, uh, what I'm trying to do now. So mm -hmm. and keep it's truly our a blessing. And keep our community going. So um, lastly, before you go, can you sing a verse like your pops did? Man, uh, for <laughs> I just retired two weeks ago. Oh, man. Okay. You missed it. You All missed right, it. So we'll catch you on the next time. But, uh, Coach, thank you for coming Appreciate out. You. Appreciate right. you. Appreciate you. So uh, much luck to you. And, guys, let's follow him and let's um, keep up with Coach Lamar Cofield and um, support everything he's doing. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break.